you guys the new project car and we're starting off this time with something that's going to get me to this much shit firstly secondly I don't want to build a race car this time oddly enough I just want to build the perfect daily run around car so as you guys can see we are starting off with the 2017 Polo TSI Highline it has all the bells and whistles from the top tier polo except for the sunroof that's the only thing she doesn't have I did get the vehicle at a very 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 ridiculously small amount of money for the car that it is but it comes with a catch and that is quite a few problems with it so starting off with the positives firstly we've got positives starting off there starting off with a car that has actual power steering so you can turn the wheel with just a finger that's one positive in my in my books starting off with the car with with that secondly we've got all the driver aids on the steering wheel except we don't have cruise control on, the, on this vehicle We've got the full touchscreen navigation that supports everything. It's got Bluetooth. It's got its, it's got aux and USB in here at the bottom, and then we've, and then we've got these reupholstered leather seats with red in the centers with some decent stitching and black sides with black stitching on the sides. Same in the rear, as you guys can see. With that, with the, some of the highlights highlighted there. Now we're going to start off with a bunch of the other stuff. So, firstly, it drives fantastic. There's absolutely no mechanical issues with the car whatsoever. Um, it's got power steering, as I said. It's got insane fuel consumption. The last time I filled up the tank, I got roughly about, I think it was about 920 kilometers on the tank, and that's with urban driving, not on the freeways. Uh, I can get, I can get a little bit more than that driving carefully and driving more. What's the, what's the, the word, the word, um, conservatively with the vehicle so don't re not revving it up too high not speeding unnecessarily um, so also it's got brand new continental tires on it it's running on 16 inch alloy wheels alloy mags whatever you want to call it and the reason for me taking on this project is because of the huge huge following and huge support in South Africa with these specific cars. I am going to be trying to be getting this car to a specific level in its in its life where I can use it as a proper daily run around with no mechanical issues. Just doing whatever is necessary. And with that said, let's jump into the negatives. So, the negatives are was only one big negative but it influences quite a, quite a bit few quite a few things quite a bit it influences quite a few things and that is that the car was in a light front smash hence the good price it was in a light front smash in the left front side so as you guys can well, you probably can't see here with the light but there you can see it you can see it's got this fade here because it is a replacement bonnet, it has a couple of blemishes all over. It's just a bit, bit of bird poo, bird dung, bird dung as what's the crocodile, crocodile Dundee used to say, some bird dung. So, what's wrong with the car? Apart from the smash, both headlights, both headlights are loose on both sides, as you can see. The headlights are loose. The grill's loose. The bump is also pretty loose, and. Also, it's a. Uh, it's not the the fastest car in the world, but that's not the that's not the occasion here. I'm trying to build the perfect day, and we're starting off with a perfect chassis that that has its minor issues like the bumper and the headlights and the grill and the bonnet and stuff, and like these panel gaps that just come down. It just closes up a little bit too much here, which is not my liking. But you need to take into consideration it was in the light front smash. But apart from that, it's running on nice, running on 16 inch alloys with some fresh continental tires. As you can see, it's still pretty new. I think these tires probably have about 4,000 Ks on them. Um, 
There's also quite a few trim pieces on the inside. There's sort of the wheel, wheel arches that are loose that are on plop down properly on the other side. Let me show you. So, as you guys can see, well, you can't see, but there's a cover here loose inside the, the uh, window. Uh, there's a cover here loose in the wheel well, so it does tend to catch on the tire quite a bit. But as you guys can tell, the tires are pretty fresh. It is a stock stance car, there's no lift on it. Absolutely bone stock, there's nothing done to the car whatsoever. It is just a plain old TSI. So, guys, after me showing you everything about the car, the wheels, the amazing dash, the up to date stuff, the modern tech. What, should, what do you guys think should, I should do? Should I go full on race car as I did with all the previous builds? Or do you think I should just make like a nice proper daily with some air suspension or some coilovers? Well, something I'm definitely going to do is I want to lower the car, but it's going to be a little bit of a problem because I, I'm going to struggle to get into my garage. That's number one. And number two, if I do air, it's going to cost me quite a bit. I really want to do it because it looks insane to get the car to go up and down wheels are non-negotiable i'm going to put on put some wheels in the in the video for you guys to see what i mean with wheels because i want to do a nice set of 17s 18s are a bit big 17s are just right um so yeah let me know what you guys think should i go full on race car do the full on conversion with a 20 valve with a 1.8 20 valve engine or do you guys think i should just keep it 1.2 and just do like nice uh how can i say it conservative modifications like downpipe exhaust I am going to do that regardless with a front mount cooler and a flash like an ECU flash it's going to bump the power up a bit it's going to drop down the fuel consumption as it is going to have a better fueling map for the for the day to day uh, living experience but uh, yeah tell me what you guys think I want to pop up some some pictures of ideas that I've got there's an amazing body kit the, the Polo R400 kit R Arr, matey. Uh, there is that kit that's pretty insane it looks phenomenal I can go with the Polar R line or the Polar R front bumper that looks similar to the the WRC bumper but that's just the front bumper you get, if you get the R line bump the R line kit you get the rear bumper the diffuser like I said this freaking seat belt thing annoys the piss out of me um, so I can do that but the R line the R400 kit looks absolutely insane it looks phenomenal it is a bit pricey but i think at the end of the day it's going to be worth it because it's going to have the air suspension or coil overs just to get the to lower the altitude and to up the attitude or raise the attitude or whatever the the people say but that's going to be one of the two options or three wrc r line or the r400 kit but the r400 kit comes with a back bump with two tips in the middle so it has like the r32 Golf 5 look or I can just leave it stock body so please tell me what you guys think but if you guys want it let me know I'll, I'm gonna make it happen but just a side note this project is not, is not gonna happen at such a quick pace as all the previous builds it's gonna happen a little bit slower because I'm gonna do things a little bit more strategically and not shove myself into a, a money pit at the end of the day because that's what these project cars end up being but stuff that's definitely gonna happen on the car is gonna have downpipe exhaust uh, front mount cooler intake I'm not going to upgrade the turbo on this engine I'm not going to upgrade anything sp uh, like uh, above and beyond like I said I want to keep this a nice daily fresh build but if you guys want the kit and the air suspension that will definitely be able to happen so just let me know what you guys think and drop a comment down below please like and subscribe it, do it definitely does help the channel I'm this close to being monetized and then just getting some more well funds for for the videos so guys with the options out there the body kit the wheels and the tasteful mods to the engine itself I'm also contemplating on doing the 20 valve I need the correct engine which the engine and gearbox is not a problem I do have a connection obviously it's LCH I'm not gonna put no, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it LCH has been helping me throughout all my builds but obviously I'm gonna uh, communicate with Lee tell him listen I'm I'll de I'm definitely interested in the engine that you that you have on hand he's got a I'm not too sure the engine code but I do know it's a 1.8 20 valve engine from Volkswagen that they installed that they put in the the Mark 4 Golf GTI the the generation before this the GTI the Audi TT the 
the the Mark 1 TT, the Mark 1 A3. There was a whole string of cars, the Jetta 1.8 Turbo. That engine has been in quite a few of those cars. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely communicate with him regarding that. And then also I'm going to have the gearbox for that. But then all the stuff surrounding it, like I would definitely want to do an ECU master because it just, it's going to make life so much more easier. So much easier. Well, whichever one suits you. Um, I'm also going to do the, the, the downpipe, the big injectors. I'm going to be chasing... My goal is 300 kilowatts, but I'll dial it on 250 because it's just going to be more reliable. The engines, it, it, the engines I want to purchase from Lee already has majority of the supporting mods like the aftermarket con rods, the, the reconditioned head with, uh, I think he says he's going to put in stainless uh, uh, exhaust valves because the engines have a tendency to do X1Z things. But yeah, if that's the route we want to go, we're going to go like that. But if not, I'm going to chase to build the perfect daily with this 1.2 TSI engine which I honestly think is going to be more than sufficient for daily use it's not going to have too, too bad fuel fuel economy and when this thing's all done and dusted then we can look at doing a proper serious race car build but not drag racing orientated but more track racing or hill climb that's more the route I want to go but that's future, future speculation let's first get this done and dusted and see what you guys recommend so body kit suspension tasteful mods and then we'll see if I, if I want to do the race car engine build. But we'll take it from there. But thank you guys. Just keep on keeping on and see you in the next one.